How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and Apple has finally given us the official release date of iOS 15. We've all been waiting for this day for so long, for so many months, and it's already here, September the 20th. Uh, maybe if you're watching this video right now, uh, we're still waiting for the official release date. Maybe you're watching it a little bit later on and iOS 15 has already been released. But what I want to tell you, and this is super, super important, is don't update your iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, SE first generation, 7 and 7 Plus to iOS 15. So if you have one of those older models, just stick with iOS 14. It's super important that you do so. So in this video, I'm going to actually explain you why I'm telling you that. It's not because I want you or anything like that. But also, if you feel like updating to iOS 15 and it's your iPhone, you should do whatever you want, of course, I'm also gonna explain you how you can update the best way possible because there is a proper way to update to iOS 15 if you have one of those older devices that will give you a much better experience and a much better software update overall, all right? So the first thing I wanna tell you, of course, is why you shouldn't update to iOS 15, in my opinion, if you have one of those older iPhones, one of those earlier models. And the reason why is actually pretty simple and pretty obvious, and it's not exclusive to iOS 15. This is something that happens every year on every single a major software update. The same thing happened with iOS 14 and now with iOS 15. And the reason why is because those older devices will have a hard time running this latest version. Uh, when Apple creates and develops those new big software updates, they're really thinking about the newer devices, like the iPhone 13 that was just released, the iPhone 12, 11, and that's pretty much it. But of course, uh, the other older devices like the iPhone XS and X will still run okay. But they're mainly focusing on those newer devices. Uh, so uh, they're thinking of uh, one specific processing power, if you know what I mean. Uh, they're considering the newest chips. Uh, they're considering the newest GPU performance, batteries, and everything like that. So uh, those, uh, those versions, those software versions, will have a hard time on earlier models. Uh, so we're gonna see definitely for sure, and you can see many, many videos on YouTube about this, many, many tests and side-by-side -side comparisons of speed. So uh, if you have an iPhone 6S and you update to iOS 15, you will most likely see your iPhone getting slower if you compare to iOS 14, same thing with battery. Uh, since iOS 15 is much more demanding, is much heavier, uh, it will give, it will actually have an impact on your battery life as well. So your, your battery life won't be the same, won't last as much. And this will happen, has always happened and will always happen. So please keep that in mind. Another thing that's super relevant is the fact that iOS 15 doesn't have a ton of new features which you should be super excited about and eager to update because you want to take advantage of those features. Um, there simply aren't so many features in iOS 15. And on top of that, to make things even worse, the, the majority of the coolest features, pretty much all of the cooler, coolest features are only available for the iPhone XS and newer. So even if you do like uh, those updates, the, the new things that iOS 15 brings, they won't be compatible with an iPhone 6S and all of those I mentioned before up until the iPhone 10. Because as I said, most of the coolest features are only available uh, from the iPhone XS app. And I'm gonna mention here a few of those. So first, uh, most of FaceTime new features they aren't available, they aren't compatible, like all the spatial audio and everything like that. Live text, that feature that you can actually uh, scan any uh, text in your environment, in your photos, everywhere, copy, paste, that's not available only uh, on iOS, on iPhone XS and up. Uh, same thing with Siri. All of the on-device processing, all of the new features in Siri, is, are not compatible with those earlier devices. Same thing with maps, all of the 3D stuff, augmented reality, not available either. All of the weather changes with the new backgrounds and new images, not compatible. And same thing with keys in wallet, not compatible either. So you're updating, you're making your iPhone slower, battery worse, 
and then you're not taking advantage of those features, which are the main new features in iOS 15. And if you're thinking about security, uh, that you want to update, let's say, your iPhone 7 to iOS 15 to take advantage of all the security features. Don't really worry about that because Apple has just released iOS 14.8, which its main focus is security, patching security problems, issues, bugs, and things like that. So if you're thinking about security and privacy, just update to iOS 14.8 right now, stay there, and you're good. But if you still want to update to iOS 15 after all that, and as I said, it's your iPhone and you should do what you want to do. And if you really feel like updating your slightly older iPhone to iOS 15, even though I don't recommend, uh, there are two very, very important things that you should follow, two instructions that you should follow in order to update to try and avoid uh, all of that that I mentioned before, especially regarding performance and uh, battery life consumption. And those two things are, number one, uh, please wait for at least two more software updates. Don't straight away update to iOS 15.0. Wait at least to iOS 15.0.2 because after those two small updates, Apple will definitely make sure to fix uh, the most important issues and problems. If you update to 15.0, you will most likely suffer even more. So just wait and update in iOS 15.0.2, as I said, or even later when all of the major bugs are already fixed because older iPhones will suffer much harder on those bugs and issues. And last but not least, perform a clean install. Instead of just updating from your software update menu in settings, perform a clean install. This is so important on older iPhones and I do have a tutorial on this on the channel and I'll leave a card right here that you can click and link in the description. Maybe if you're watching this on the first few videos, uh, this clean install video will not be up already, but um, uh, starting on September the 20th, as soon as Apple releases iOS 15, I will have this video so you can follow it. But of course, in your case, wait a little bit until 15.0.2 before doing this process, but I do recommend a clean install uh, on older iPhones. So if you follow those two tips, I am sure that you will suffer a little bit less if you really feel like updating to iOS 15 on older iPhones, right? So that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below, you know how. Uh, also, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon. It's super important and it helps me out so much. And last but not least, leave your comment down below. Tell me what you thought about this video. Your feedback is super important, right? So that's pretty much it. And I'll see you on my next video as usual. Bye-bye.